Uh, good morning. So, uh, we made it to the, um, the holiday home in the south of France. Did I say we had a holiday home in the south of France? I'm not too sure, actually. But, uh, so, when was the last time I vlogged? Probably when we were halfway between Toulouse and Carcassonne, although I did some scenery after that. Uh, we went to um, Narbonne, where we got some supplies, like food and stuff, for this house. And then we arrived at this house, which is in um, Saldord, a tiny little village. Um, I didn't vlog after that because I was so tired, and I just went sort of straight to bed after um, just like having a look around the house, because I've never been here before. So this is my um, bedroom. Uh, there's an unmade bed there. There's the door. And there's like a little dresser. And uh, my bed's like here. And then there's a side table. And the window. And we've got French shutters on the windows, which is really cool. Well, I suppose all French places have like shutters on their windows that have that can be opened. But uh, today, because of the long journey that we had uh, yesterday and the day before, we're just really going to be relaxing, probably staying in Saldord or staying in this house. Um, and I'll see what I can really vlog about, or if I go on a walk around Saldord, some scenery and stuff. Okay, so this is outside the front of the house. I'll have to show you the front of the house later because I'm not going out there now, I'm still in my pyjamas. But uh, you would enter through this door here. <coughs> this is we're on the ground floor, of course we are, yeah, anyway. Uh, and you enter straight into the kitchen. There, and there's all the kitchen stuff, and there's like a little dining room bit there. And then at the back through here, we have a shower room! And there's a toilet and a sink and me! <clears throat> and then, if we go through here, uh, yep, through this door, to our left is the first bedroom. And uh, because this uh, house is like rented out to other people when we're not here, this is the bedroom that would be used if someone was disabled and couldn't use stairs or something. A cupboard. Out that window is like the driveway. And through here, it's very dark, I don't really like going in here. But this house is very old and we used to use this section to press grapes, which is basically turning grapes into uh, alcohol. And they would have pressed the grapes through that hole up there, I think. Uh, there's a washing machine. Anyway, back through this room. And opposite, uh, we have the downstairs living room, which is used as sort of a tourist information room for the people who rent this house out. Because there's like loads of touristy stuff there, there's a map of Narbonne. And there's, uh, yeah, just loads of touristy stuff. Out here is the front of the house again. There's an orange tree actually, and oranges have fallen on the ground somewhere there, if you can see them, I don't know if you can. Uh, and then we shall continue up the stairs. So we've just come up from there, and we get to the landing. To the left, there's one of the bedrooms, and then next to that there's another bedroom, and there's the bathroom. I can't go in there at the moment because there's someone there. Uh, all the way to the left, that goes to the very top floor. It's gone blurry. Uh, yeah, anyway. To our right is the living room, the main living room. TV, windows, sofas, and dining room sort of area, CD player. And then out there there's a balcony and uh, a fireplace. And if I look up, you can actually see the third floor up there on the balcony. And um, we'll go there in a bit. But out onto the balcony, you get a lovely view of the scenery. Well, actually, it's just the neighbor's garden, really. There. 
and over there you can sort of see like fields. Oh, it's just so nice and warm out here actually. Compared to the UK, if I turn the camera actually, uh, like in the UK when it's summer, you get this horrible, hot, sticky, disgusting, sweaty summer um, temperatures, whereas in the south of France it's dry. It's, it's not humid, it's dry, and it's, it's nice and warm, and you have like a warm breeze as well. So, I don't know, it's, it's just much nicer, and it's, when I first felt it this morning, because yesterday it was quite late when we got here, I was just so happy to feel it. So back inside the house, uh, I've shown you my room already, but yeah, there's, that's my room. You get a view of the outside actually through my room's window. There's the orange tree, and the opposite neighbours people, thing in bobs. And then through here is the first bedroom, which I don't want to show too much because this is where my mum and her partner's sleeping. Well, that's like, yeah, it's a bedroom. Uh, now, now we'll go up to the third floor, which is up there. Woohoo! Right, so we've come from down there onto the third floor, where you can see down into the living room area. This is lovely beams that go across. <sighs> wow, it's quite tiring actually when you've gone all the way from the bottom floor. That's the living room, and up here, there's like a little thingy on the landing, uh, we have two bedrooms and a bathroom. These bedrooms aren't being used at the moment, so here's the first bedroom, it has built-in wardrobes into the wall. Hello! And then, uh, there's a view of the outside, the orange tree even higher up. Actually, there's an orange right there. Do you see that big orange thing there? Wow, this zoom is in far. That's an orange! <laughs> so yeah, nice view. If I lean out, I wonder how far you can see. I can't see that because I'm leaning out really far, but I'll have to look at that on the plate. So, and then into the um, the second upstairs bedroom, which is, uh, oh, another one like mine where it's two separate beds. Hello! <laughs> and you can see out this window as well, pretty much the same view as the room right next door. Yeah, that's the front as well. And the last place to look, other than a bathroom we couldn't go in, is um, this bathroom. So yeah, and there's a bath in this one and a shower. And the bathroom downstairs is pretty similar to this, except it's just a shower and not the bath bit. And there's a toilet instead of like this part of the bath. Okay, I hope you enjoyed that little house tour. Uh, I'll probably be having like a shower now, and then relaxing, and then when I go out for a walk later outside, I'll give you a view of the outside of the house, and I'll show you some of the village in um, like random musical shots where I have the music in the background and stuff. Yeah, okay. Right, so here is the front of the house, and I'm on the second floor, but not... Actually, I am. One of those windows is my room. I think it's that one, but I'm not too sure. So, yeah front of the house, and the orange tree, and the driveway.
Okay, so we're back at the house after having a nice walk around the um, Sald Ord. I can't believe I forgot the name then. And we ate in a lovely little uh, pizza restaurant place. Actually, I don't know if it was. No, it wasn't a pizza place, was it? I'm not too sure. <laughs> Yeah, well, I didn't have pizza. I think they sell pizza at certain times, but I didn't today. Um, and now I'm exhausted because I just like ran when I was filming stuff because my mum and her partner were going off ahead while I was doing taking photos and stuff. But now I think I'm going to be relaxing in the house and taking, no, uh, doing some writing because currently I am writing a storybook and. I have plenty of time today because we're just spending the whole day relaxing, as I've said a million times. So, yeah. Later that day, we decided to um, go to an abandoned house that uh, my mum and her partner went to visit a year ago. Uh, we travelled across the countryside for a little bit, and it's just outside Saldord. It was uh, surrounded by lots of uh, vineyards, and it was quite a nice surrounding to the house. But the actual house had changed more than my mum and her partner had expected. When they came to it about a year ago, they um, it wasn't as uh, overgrown and destroyed as, a, as it is currently. Like, uh, when we came, the, the door was impossible to get through because there was so much, like, growth in front of it. So we had to actually climb in through a window. And you can see me doing this right now as I try to climb through the grass and underneath a tree branch. Now, as soon as I entered the house, I immediately felt a sense of, um, I don't know how to explain it. It was, um, I, I am a believer of the paranormal, but, uh, I don't know if this is it, but I, I really felt as if it wasn't a good place to be in. When my mum and her partner went about a year ago, they, they really enjoyed it. They said it had a lovely feeling to it, and they, they spent a while in the house just seeing all of the stuff that the previous owners had left behind. But I, we really didn't want to stay long this time. And in fact, this is the first time it's ever happened in my lifetime that I've actually got a, like an unexplained anger inside of me. And I feel that it was sort of the, the place, there was something wrong with the place. The room that I just looked at there, there my mum and her partner said that that floor had completely disappeared. It was there before, but now it's gone. Anyway, we decided to leave quite quickly, and because we were all feeling quite um, disturbed in a way, uh, we decided to go across the countryside and to the nearest seaside settlement, which is um, which is quite nice. Okay, so we're in a place that I can't remember the name of actually now. Uh, it begins with an F, I'll put it like at the bottom of the screen. Um, so after the abandoned house, pardon me, sorry, I've just had a drink. There are lots of midgets here because I'm really close to the sea. Uh, we decided to come here and uh, see the sea for some random reason. I'm not too sure why, but there was some beautiful scenery on the way. It wasn't too far, like mm, bleh, 10 minutes. No more. Possibly a bit less. I'm not too sure. But, uh, that was a midget just then that went past my face. I don't know what I'm supposed to be saying here. I'm 
I'm a bit funny after that house, I didn't like it at all. Uh, so, I'll have some scenery of the beach soon, and then I shall be going home and spending the rest of the day hopefully doing some writing, or perhaps I'll edit the first few days of this, like, vlog thingy-the-vlog.